Hey YouTubers, more Rob Muffet. Guys, I've made a lot of videos on pellet pistols and BB pistols, and one question I get asked a lot is, the pistol I'm showing, is it something that could be used for home self-defense? That's very difficult to answer. Almost always I would say no. I'm not a law uh, enforcement officer. I, I don't have a, a lot of experience in, in these matters, but this is just my own opinion. I don't think these pistols are, are good home defense weapons, but there are options where it may come in handy. Um, if, if you're a person that is just afraid of pistols, I recommend you, if you're available, to get one in your area. Some countries don't allow you, but I would, I would recommend you start off with just a small 22 pistol. Um, this is, I made a video on this. This is the Taurus 22. I found it to be very reliable. Um, you don't have to uh, rack the slide if you're worried about that. It's a tilt-up pistol. You put a, a, a cartridge in here and shut it, and it'll uh, fire. You don't have to rack it in case you're worried about that. It has a lock here that you can turn and keep unauthorized people away from using it because they won't be able to use it once it's locked. You have the key. So it's a very safe weapon. It's inexpensive. Uh, I found it to be accurate. I found it to be reliable. It's about two hundred dollars, and uh, if you're available in your area to have one, or if, if it's legal in your area, I think that would be a much better home defense weapon than uh, an air pistol. However, if you're not allowed to have one, or for some reason you don't want one, a real firearm, what would you be able to do with a with an air pistol? I have. I love these little pistols. Uh, uh, I put two little uh, laser beams, laser beams, <laughs> laser pointers on my pistol. I can shoot this 15 feet away in a target that is big as a golf ball um, repeatedly. Um, if someone was breaking in my house at nighttime, I think this would be an option if I didn't have a regular firearm. This would allow me to do several things. First of all, by just showing that I had a weapon, it might scare someone away. Number two, if someone was not afraid of the weapon, I could fire this, and like I said, I can get into this size target 15 feet away. Uh, this would allow me time to yell <laughs> very loudly. Um, if someone is coming after you, don't just yell help. Say help, call the police, I'm being whatever, you know. Uh, don't just yell help. I've lived in places where there were people in the, in the building that were always having drama with their uh, wife or husband or spouse or significant other, and there was always people screaming, and uh, it was just a common occurrence. They, they had that type of relationship. So after a while, when you heard them yelling, you didn't do anything. But if someone says, call the police, I don't care if it's their parrot, I'm going to call the police. You, uh, If someone's after you, don't just say help say call the police and this would give you time to 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 do some yelling also it would give you time to do one of the best self-defense things you can do is get out of the danger zone if you're able to go to another room or go through a window or go through a back door and get out of the area that's the one of the best things you can do is to remove yourself from the danger zone um, now another thing this can do like i said you can put 15 of these bb's on a target this size, 15 feet away. Um, if another person has a regular firearm, you're you don't want to bring an air pistol to a, a gunfight with a real pistol. But this would allow you uh, some time if if they didn't have a regular firearm or if they were reluctant to use their firearm. I think you could actually drive them away with it. Also, this could give you time to go and get you another weapon. <laughs> If you don't want a real firearm, uh, I happen to like things like this. This is a very sharp machete. You can get them for 16 bucks. This is a Tramontina. Um, that's quite sharp. This is stainless steel, quite sharp. Um, so you're going to run out of pellets after 15. Um, but this will give you some time. In some cases, it may be all you need. And they're quite inexpensive. On sale, I bought these as low as $14. Uh, they're regularly like 20 bucks. They're made in Japan. I don't know how they can make them this well. It's extremely well made. I recommend these little guys. 
I don't think they're better than a real firearm, but if for some reason you don't want a real firearm, like I said, this is a wonderful option. There's no recoil. There's no reason to be afraid of it with training, and it's quite effective. Nine cartridges, uh, 15 feet away, I can get target the size of like a coconut, and I'm getting better all the time. Um, there's nothing to be afraid of. This is, like I said, no recoil. Um, it's it's a very easy, uh, reliable, pleasant pistol to shoot. But if you can't have one for some reason in your area or your country, and if you're allowed to have air pistols, um, the Daisy Paraline 426, they make some larger ones with more powerful ones than this, but they're a little more expensive. I recommend putting on a laser. If you have someone coming at you and you have two laser beams <laughs> in their face, um, I think it may startle them and give them pause. And in the meantime, you've got 50. And these little BBs, if you have a steel can, a soup can with soup in it, it'll penetrate the can. So this is something that can be extremely painful. Um, the closer they get, the more it's going to hurt. So um, I would, if I couldn't have a regular farm, I would have two of these. <laughs> Hope this video is something that is helpful to you guys. And uh, I put on new videos every week and uh, been doing it for 12 years got over 800 videos and I just love making videos so hope you watch more and come back in the future and hope it's something helped most of all alright guys take care see you out there